I know I won that fight, simple as. Ideal and facts, lad, and I won a unanimous decision. It's not even like it was a split decision. Look at his face and look at mine. Fights get scored on damage now. I, I landed a lot more damage, end of. I, I thought that Jared Gordon's game plan in the third round was horrible. You know, he, he felt like he had the first two rounds and he went in and pushed him against the fence. And, and, and I, I, I got to go after the ref too. You know, a big fight, co-main event, third round, crowd's going crazy and you're going to let him stand against the fence the entire fight. You know, but these are these things that happen. What are you going to do? Horrible game plan by uh, Gordon. Uh, you know, the ref let it happen and he threw the fight away. You know, he was doing great in that fight. He should have fought the third round. Right. Dana was in here and he said that he thinks that Jared's game plan going into the third round was horrible. Do you think the same? Yeah. I actually I compared it before to no one showing sure O'Malley hurt his ankle. He should have tried to stay standing with me because my ankle was pretty compromised in that third round. I was worried about my ankle. So because of that, I think if he would have... If he would have tried to strike with me a bit more, he would have caught me more because I couldn't move properly. My foot wasn't 100%. So I think if he would have stayed striking with me, he would have, he would have had a lot more success because my me, me mobility was a little bit a little bit stuck, you know what I mean? I would have been stuck in the mud. When he started pushing me against the cage, I was like, sound, let's, let's chill, you know what I mean? And then I was landing more significant strikes with me back on the cage. I don't mean, think he landed three or four significant strikes in the third round. I was landing knees to the body, knees to the face, little elbows, little punches. As I say, fight to score on damage now and look at his face and look at mine. Is it difficult for you to keep focus and keep confidence knowing that, you know, the fans probably want you to get them out of there and won and, you, you know, you got to kind of grind your way? No, I'm pretty happy now because I've done, I've just done my first ever three, five minute rounds in the UFC against the tough opponent who I know has cardio. And... I could have pushed it more in that third round, but I coasted a bit. I thought I'm two rounds up, I'll coast it a bit, especially with the ankle, you know what I mean? I, I, I shouldn't have. It's my own silly fault. I shouldn't have coasted in the third round, but control time means nothing when you don't do nothing with it. I don't care, lad, you know what I mean? People keep saying, oh, you're going to fight the top 15, you're going to fight him, you're going to fight him. Everyone talks about me, lad. That's how they, they stay relevant. People mention me to stay relevant, lad, so... I don't care. Whoever's name's on the contract next, I'll fight, but I've got to, I've got to sort this ankle out first. You and Ilya have had a bit of needle this week, and um, he said earlier in this room that the judges uh, gave you a Christmas gift with the decision. Yeah. <laughs> you got a response to that? No. Hand sanitizer, boy, you can keep using my name for some publicity all you want. Is um, the best way for this war of words with him to be buried with a fight between you both in the future at some point? It could happen. You know what I mean? He looked good tonight. Give him his due. He looked good tonight. He did. Bryce did rock him, though, in the second round. And I am a lot bigger than both of them. You know what I mean? So that could happen in the future. But as I say, I don't know when I'm going to be fighting now. I've got to get this ankle looked at. And if I was him, like, what? He's in the top ten in the featherweight division now, isn't he? You know what I mean? He's just beat yeah. number nine. Yeah. That just shows how I live in his head rent-free. You know what I mean? He's still talking about me, even though he's in the top ten in featherweight. If I was him, I'd be asking for number five or something. Would fighting on that London card, given that it's a big pay-per-view, would that be something you'd be up for? Maybe co-main under that, that title fight with Leon and uh, Kamara? As my man said, lad, I've got an Aldi booked in uh, Thailand for January, but I'm not just a fighter now, lad. I'm a businessman. I've got a few business businesses that I'm opening up and a few things that I've invested in. So I'm not just a fighter now, lad. I've got to worry about some of my investments. So I'm, I, I don't know. We'll see. Obviously, four wins and four... You know, Christmas on the horizon. I think you've got a holiday to, Thai, um, to pa uh, Thailand, right, in January. Yeah. You know, how have you sum up this year, given this your co-main event, pay-per-view debut? Sound, isn't it? It's been a good year. Three and oh, two finishes. I've just went full 15 with a very tough opponent, who, as I say, he, he comes to fight every time, lad, and he's got the cardio for 15 minutes, and I've won by unanimous decision. That's all that matters. So I really, I've had a brilliant year. An absolutely brilliant year, and 
Long may they continue. What are you going to do? I think the main event was terrible. Um, you know, what are you going to do? Did you have anybody winning in the main event? Did you, did you have it one? I don't even know. I started to zone out after like <laughs> three rounds. So, you know, I, I, I heard that Uncle Iev is upset and whatever. What do you want me to do? You know, you got, you got beat up the first two rounds and, and, you know, you took him to the ground. You started, you know, what are you going to do? But I guess the question is, what do you do now, right? I mean, oh. the vacant title, a split. You through. do Glover versus Jamal Hill in uh, Brazil for the vacant title. Is that done? Done. Dana, what do you do with Darren Till at the moment? Obviously, he's gone through a bad streak, and, you know, tonight he had his moments, but he ended up losing again. I'm curious what you see as his future. I mean, that's the fight of the night. I don't, I don't think his stock drops at all. Um, you know, if he would have went out there and got destroyed in the first round, like it looked like it was going to happen, but he did the exact opposite. He weathered that storm. Stayed out of submissions, and, uh, you know, then he comes back, and you think he's going to win the fight. I, I thought it was an awesome fight. That's why it was fight of the night, and I, I don't think his stock dropped at all. And, and for Duplessis, what, what an incredible win for him. I think that that slam at the end, I think that took the life out of, out of tail. That was a, I mean, did you hear that when, it, when they hit the ground? Yeah, that was, that, was, that was brutal. I think that's what ended the fight more than, I think, than the choke. Earlier this week, uh, obviously the announcement about returning to London with a numbered event. Um, are things looking like they'll be finalized for Usman Edwards number three, or could we see a bit of a change up? Yeah, no, that's that's what we're aiming for. That's that's what we want. We're going to go to the O2, and uh, yeah, that's it.